what doesn't kill you make it stronger and it hasn't killed me yet so this is a video on how I started eating cornstarch and how I got addicted to cornstarch because yeah I get this question asked a lot literally a lot so this is my favorite part Ew. just to start this off people that crave weird things like cornstarch baby powder glue even chalk are called pika they have a pika disorder meaning that they they um don't have enough iron in their body so because of that they start to crave these things that kind of replace the iron your body thinks you're you think you're getting iron but you're really not you're kind of just getting something that's kind of harmful to your body so when I was younger I started to eat when I was in Nigeria I used to eat chalk because this was like something I would hide and then when I moved to America I stopped and then in second grade my classmates and I drank glue and I did that once and I did, never did that again and then as the years go by I stopped I didn't like eat baby powder or anything I didn't do that at all until high school actually like over the years of like high school like freshman year ish I would dip and dab on cornstarch a little bit but it wasn't like a, a it wasn't like when I would go to the store, my purpose of going to the store was to buy um, baby powder. So um, it wasn't like I was addicted where like, okay, I went through bottles daily. No, like these times I went through bottles like probably every two months, every three months, maybe every month. Don't really remember, but um, I didn't, I wasn't really addicted when I was in like freshman year, sophomore year, ending of junior year was when I really started to become addicted. No, it wasn't ending of junior year, was it? Um, summer of me going into junior year that I started to eat baby powder more and I was, you know, running through these bottles like crazy. Mm. I know the side effects for baby powder I know what it can do to you I know the harm it can do to you I know absolutely everything while I was eating it before I ate it I know the bad stuff that can happen and I can stop whenever I want I'm not one of those people where like if I stop I'm gonna feel like I'm dying or I feel like you know like I need this like I have to have this if not I'm gonna die if not I'm gonna lose my shit if not I'm gonna be moody that wasn't me and um, that's not everyone so that's why I say like addiction is more of a mental thing slash trait thing cuz like I can stop whenever I want I just choose not to um, what doesn't kill you make it stronger and it hasn't killed me yet so Is this lady trying to park next to me? I have a phobia of people parking next to me. What was I even saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Because I would go through bottles weekly or every month, depending on the size I get. Sometimes if I traveled, like I would get like the baby size ones and like put it in my luggage. Um, but most of the time I would always get the biggest bottle and I always had a specific, it had to be a specific type of baby powder for me to eat if not, I'm not eating it. I even told my doctor and she gave me an, an iron supplement, like basically iron tablets to, to eat, well to swallow when I eat food and stuff. And I was I didn't take that, like, I was like, no, my body doesn't want that. My body wants cornstarch or baby powder. Anywho... Um, I went to college and I stopped because I was like, okay, I don't want people to think I'm weird or anything for eating cornstarch, well, for eating baby powder, so I'm going to stop eating it and then, you know, maybe sneak in a little bit, but when I was going to college, I wanted that to be like a new start for me, like stop my bad, you know, stop with these pika stuff that I have going on. So anyways, um... I met my roommate and she was like really cool shout out to her um she was really cool and i was like okay maybe i can like sneak a little bit so one time i texted my roommate and i was like hey can you get me baby powder and i was like oh it's for me to go to bed or whatever and she's like okay and then she came back and she was like do you eat 
Do you know her? I was like, yes. Do you even know her? She was like, yeah, sometimes. I was like, what? What? Anyways, I was like, what? Like, I finally met someone that has the same issue as me which is kind of it's kind of bad like meeting someone that does the same thing as you so like you guys both continue eating it but it was good i liked it i was like okay well i can feel free i don't have to kind of be worried about you know people judging me or my roommates judging me for what i eat because obviously my roommate has done it before and she understands it this is my favorite brand so this is it it looks so beautiful. I love it. And then... This is so good. My sweet mate, she bought cornstarch. She bought cornstarch and she puts hers in the freezer and she would eat it and later on i asked her and she found out that i ate cornstarch she was like oh shit like you eat that i was like yes and she was like oh i eat cornstarch i was like oh maybe i need to try some cornstarch so later on i was like okay can i try some and i tried it and at first it tastes very corny it's so funny but it tasted like corn i was like oh it tastes too corny for me like i don't really like it i think i'll kind of stick to baby powder but then I think I don't think I for me it's not really a oh, baby powder it's more of a texture thing I think I'm addicted to the texture of how these things feel in my mouth and and I was like oh my gosh I need, I need to try that again and then after that I started eating cornstarch more and more and more and I started becoming addicted to cornstarch and I moved on from baby powder which is kind of better in a way um I left baby powder to move on to cornstarch and I would eat that constantly I'll go through I got Argo like the big ones I'm sure people with Pika know what that is but I moved on to that and I started liking that and um yeah like the texture then oh my gosh cornstarch mm -hmm. there's mm. i went on tiktok to you know share my little strange addiction and it kind of blew up and um and then i tried cornstarch brick which is like you know it's more it's chunky has this wonderful crunch to it people also ask what does it taste like it tastes like strawberries to me i'm telling y'all it tastes like strawberries everything is a mental thing in my opinion it tastes like strawberries i freaking love it tastes better than strawberries it's not dry in your mouth i mean i think popeye's biscuit is drier than this like this is not even dry like once it hits your mouth it doesn't become dry anymore mm. yeah, this is a journey i plan on stopping soon sometime soon sooner than later maybe later but who cares follow up for more Peace out.